Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's Morning Prayer Service. This is Thursday, July 25th. Today's uh, also a holy day. Uh, James the Elder Apostle. The opening sentence is from Psalm 43. Oh, send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. Apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare those who confess their faults. Restore those who are penitent, according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant the most merciful Father for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, to repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. And we have a special antiphon because it's a holy day. Uh, it's found uh, on page 30. The Lord is glorious in his saints. O come, let us adore him. Benite. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepare the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. The Lord is glorious in his saints. O come, let us adore him. We'll now have the psalm reading. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 68, verses 1 through 18. This can be found beginning on page 351 of the Book of Common Prayer. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him also flee before him. As the smoke vanishes, so shall you drive them away. And as wax melts before the fire, so let the ungodly perish before the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. Let them also be merry and joyful. O oh, sing unto God and sing praises unto his name. Magnify him who rides upon the heavens. The Lord is his name. Rejoice before him. He is a father of the fatherless and defends the cause of the widows, God and his holy habitation. He is the God who gives the solitary a home and brings the prisoners out of captivity, but lets the rebellious dwell in a desert land. O oh God, when you went forth before the people, when you went through the wilderness, the earth shook and the heavens poured forth rain at the presence of God. Even as Sinai also was moved by, at the presence of God, who is the God of Israel. You, O God, sent a gracious rain upon your inheritance and refreshed the land when it was weary. Your congregation found a dwelling there. For you, O God, of your goodness have provided for the poor. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those who proclaimed the tidings. Kings with their armies fled. They fled and the women at home divided the spoil. Though you have lain among the sheepfolds, yet shall you be like the wings of a dove that are covered with silver and whose feathers shine like gold. When the Almighty scattered kings, it was as if it had snowed in Zalman. 
as the hill of Bashan, so is God's hill, even a high hill as the hill of Bashan. I look with envy, you high hills. This is God's hill on which it pleases him to dwell. Surely the Lord will abide on it forever. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels, and the Lord has come from Sinai into the holy place. You have gone up on high. You have led captivity captive and received gifts from men, even from your enemies, that the Lord God might dwell among them. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our scripture reading is from the Gospel according to Mark, beginning in chapter four, and be, chapter 1, beginning in verse 14. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came into Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God and saying, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Passing alongside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, the brother of Simon, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on a little farther, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who were in their boat mending the nets. And immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired servants and followed him. This is the word of the Lord. Speak to God. The canticle this morning is found on page 87. We'll read the first part. Benedicite omina opera domine, or the song, a song of creation. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord. O heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat. Winter and summer, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet. Glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark, storm clouds and thunderbolts. Glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. And on page 20, we have the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you with your spirit let us pray lord have mercy upon us christ have mercy upon us lord have mercy upon us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. Grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. 
and lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O oh Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O oh Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O oh Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O oh God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. We have a collect this morning for James the Elder Apostle. O gracious God, your servant and apostle James was first among the twelve to suffer martyrdom for the name of Jesus Christ. Pour out upon the leaders of your church that spirit of self-denying service by which they may have true authority among your people. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And the collect for guidance for Thursdays. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. On Thursdays, we have a particular prayer focus for the Anglican Diocese of the Southwest. Almighty God, loving Father, we praise you and worship you and thank you for creating our diocese and watching over it. Lord, I would ask that you would continue to empower this diocese to protect it from all harm, to help us be a loving uh, diocese, a diocese that is focused in your way and your will, and particularly, Lord, a diocese that strives to serve you in love all of our days. Yes, Lord, uh, we are truly blessed in this diocese and uh, we are growing, we are welcoming Presumably, we're welcoming in new churches from, from places far afield, I believe, Oklahoma and maybe some other new states to the east of us. So we ask you, Lord, to guide us and show us how to welcome these new parishes and people into our midst. We ask you especially to guide Bishop Stephen and his staff and the other men who give him wise counsel. Pete and others uh, to show him how to welcome these people, uh, these parishes, uh, Pete and the others, how to welcome these the priests and assistant priests and deacons into our midst and to make them feel welcome. Um, and when there are synods and other meetings, uh, how we can make their people feel truly welcome or um, the Anglican churches are, are struggling to grow and to uh, thrive. And so we ask you, Lord, to show us. Show us how to be your people in the churches in the cities and states where we're planted. Show us how to do your will. Show us as your congregants how to remember no matter how crazy our lives get to kneel each day and to pray for our priests and our deacons. Show us that Christ the King how to hold up Father Pete and his family each day. How to show up Father Kyle and his sweet family, Deacon Bill and Norma, and have our hearts be full of joy that Norma has been completely healed. What a, what a wonderful gift. You have showered us with so many gifts of Christ the King. And you have showered this diocese with many gifts. Let us always be thankful for these gifts and let us ask each day for your guidance, your strength, and the sure awareness of your presence by our sides, that you will show us the things you want us to do and you will show us how to do it. But we have to get quiet enough to hear your voice and we have to take the time and make the time to be with you each day. All these things we ask in your name. Amen.
Uh, this morning we'll use the general thanksgiving on page 25. And we say together, Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your measurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.